everybody. Hello. I'm Meg. Good to see you. Um, so, a little background on me playing the ukulele. I bought a ukulele in 2011, and I started playing it this February. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not great, but um, I spent the summer at a camp for kids with serious illnesses. We have one uh, here near the Orlando area called Camp Boggy Creek, where I've spent the last four summers. Uh, and this summer, I moved to Ohio to work at a camp called Flying Horse Farms. Both of these camps have the same mission of helping kids with serious illnesses experience the life-changing magic of camp completely free of charge. So uh, a big fundraiser that they do is called The Challenge, and I am currently uh, attending The Challenge that's in Ohio uh, in about two weeks. Uh, so I am fundraising for that, uh, and so I decided to come play you some music. Uh, I have a nice little flower pot that I will put on the table uh, later so that on your way out, if you would like to donate, uh, I would really, really appreciate it. It doesn't have to be much. Every 50 cents dollar helps, so uh, please support. Um, otherwise, if you want information on how to donate, I can send you a link. Why am I playing ukulele to fundraise for that? Great question, myself to myself. Uh, I spent this summer teaching ukulele to a bunch of tiny children at this summer camp. Uh, so I will play, be playing you very basic songs that I taught many uh, small children uh, throughout the course of two months. So I'm going to start with a song that you probably know. Also, these are all covers. I don't write music. It started in February. Um, only instrument I can play. So uh, I'm going to start with a cover of a song called Riptide. It is a very easy song to play on the ukulele. Uh, slightly funny story about this is that I was teaching a ukulele class to about 22 16 year old kids uh, and I thought that I was going to be teaching them our camp's camp song uh, and so I set out all the ukuleles and tuned things and got things ready and then their <laughs> counselor came in and brought the 22 of them in and said hey uh, so the kids think that you're teaching Riptide. I hope you know that song, bye. No. <laughs> I did not know that song. Uh, what to do now? <laughs> so here's that, if I can remember it. I'm very nervous. I've also never played outside of camp. So let's hope it's in tune. Ooh. Yeah, she's fine. Take it away to the dark side I'm gonna be 
that was uh, donated by Victoria's Secret. <laughs> uh, and it's right by the place at our outdoor camp uh, site where the kids have to go pee in the night. So they just pee on a Pegasus. Um, I moved to the couch, can you tell? Uh, because I need the chords for the next song that I want to play, just because I'm real nervous about it. Um, so those last two songs are songs that I've played at camp, and I was trying to figure out um, some other camp songs I could play. And I played them for six weeks straight, and I don't want to play any of them ever again. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to play a personal bop of the summer for me, um, which is a song by Tessa Violet called Bad Ideas. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo um, if I can, you know, find it in my chords app. <coughs> Not a Motion City soundtrack song. That is a different <laughs> band. Um, cool. Uh, so I could like cheesily link this back to you donating by saying it's not a bad idea for you to give money <laughs> to the Serious Fun Network. Um, also talk to me about camp. Uh, if you're curious, if you want to volunteer, like I said, we have a camp that's in network uh, in Orlando. And if you're like, I don't know what any of that stuff about camp you've been saying means, uh, I can clarify, clear that up for you too. Um, also just like buy Newman's own products. Uh, I didn't mention Serious Fun Network is a charity by Paul Newman, uh, who you may have heard of. He's on the boxes of your popcorn and also a lot of uh, movies that you've probably not seen, but like maybe you have. Um, and he's a pretty cool guy. So yeah, weird plug for Newman's own products. <laughs> Too many to 